What's up? This is Richie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you guys how I put together my prescription bottle survival kit and hopefully give you some ideas on how to make one of your own. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is my personal prescription bottle survival kit that I put together. Obviously, you know, put one together for yourself, build it, build it however you like, whatever you think you're going to need, but I just found the biggest prescription bottle that I had laying around the house and I started by wrapping some eight pound fishing line around it, some monofilament line, taped it on the bottom, taped it on the outside with a little tab so I can get to it easy, pull it apart. And yeah, man, I think fishing line is great to have. I'm, I'm a big fisherman and you know, you never know, you might have to catch some dinner out there if you get stuck out somewhere. So fishing line I think is, is good to have. Other ideas, you can wrap some duct tape around it for lashing, some electrical tape, something like that. You can, you know, use the outside of this thing for your benefit. On the inside, I start out by putting a little assortment of fishing hooks on the underside of the lid, just with a little electrical tape so it's out of my way. Just a little assortment of hooks here, I'll take it completely off. Just some little trout hooks, some drop shot hooks, circle hooks, some bigger hooks here. You know, it's basically whatever you think you're gonna need in your environment, are the fish small, are they big, bait hooks, you know, worm hooks, whatever you're gonna need out there, you know but they're taped up inside the lid out of the way, which is uh, great, man. You know, you don't have to worry about stabbing yourself. They don't fall out. Good stuff. Next up here, we have some, um, I believe they're Gas X chewable tablets for an upset stomach or, you know, gassy or indigestion. Um, they're good to have. It's no fun being outside with uh, an upset stomach, so they're good to have. Next up is a little spool of thread with a needle. Never know, might have to sew something up on the fly, hopefully not your own skin. Um, but uh, speaking of, you know, first aid, got a couple band-aids here. They're not gonna help you if you really, really get hurt, but they're good to have just in case you get a small cut on your finger, a deep cut, you know, definitely helps. Next up, some paper clips. You can get creative with these, man. You can probably make a fish hook out of them. I mean, you could use them to pick a lock, you know, if you're good at it, if you know how to do it. Um, there's a few different things you can use that for. You just get creative. Next up, a bigger item, a lighter for obvious reasons, I think. Definitely good to have a easy fire starter on you at all times, that's for sure. Got a little pocket knife here. You know, this one takes up a lot of room in there, but uh, not so bad. Definitely great to have an extra knife on you. I always have one on me, but good to have. I think it'd be awesome to have one of those little um, Swiss Army knives in here. You know, they're small and they have extra survival stuff inside. Next up is some butterfly sutures, I believe they're called, just in case you get a pretty deep cut and you need to close that up. What else we have? Ah, some triple antibiotic ointment for burns or scrapes or cuts. You might be able to start a fire using that stuff too. I just thought of that. I've never tried, but it might be possible. A pair of tweezers, you know, you get a splinter or something like that have to grab something that's too small for your fingers just good to have a little tube of chapstick here you know in case you just need chapstick on your lips or you can get creative with it and use this petroleum jelly as a fire starter um, I don't know if everybody knows about that but any any petroleum jelly based product can start a fire and I guess that would go hand in hand with these q-tips I love having Q-tips on me, man. When you're outdoors, you get something in your ear or your eye. I mean, they definitely help. And you can get creative and use the cotton from them, pull it off and, you know, rub some of this chapstick on that cotton. And that's a great fire starter. You hit it with a spark or a match, forget it. Um, but that's another good way to start a fire. And speaking of matches, have a little package of those here. I know I got the lighter, but it's good to have matches too. They're made out of wood, you know, it's good tinder and, you know, can never have enough ways to start a fire in my opinion next up alcohol prep pad you know you cut your finger or something like that you can clean it up uh, disinfect it actually you could probably use that to start a fire too that alcohol you know now that I think I'm seeing this stuff I am thinking of things I never put it in for but some Benadryl just in case you have an allergic reaction you get stung by a bee you know you're allergic to the pollen in the air whatever it may be some Benadryl might be good to have, especially if you have uh, allergy problems. Some anti-diarrhea medication, you know, not the most glamorous thing to have, but hey, you drink some bad water or eat some bad food, it's no fun being sick outdoors, so um, that should help you out. 
couple drop shot weights here to go along with the fishing stuff just help sink your bait down to the bottom you know obviously i don't have any lures in here or anything so you're you know i'd have to find some worms or something on the ground but that would just help cast a little further and get my bait down into the uh, strike zone what else we got a couple swivels here could be useful for some things safety pins you can definitely fix a few things with safety pins like glasses certain things like that or you could use it to pop a blister or, you know just whatever you may need them for and just uh, a couple advil so that's like 40 items that's like over 40 items i fit in this thing obviously if i took the knife out i'd have more room for other things or you know you mix and match depending on where you think you're going to be but this was just what was in my kit just lives in my bag at all times and you know i can't tell you how many times i've dipped into it now these prescription bottles are usually waterproof man the majority of the time i find that they're waterproof so let's see if i can do a little demonstration real fast just to show you how waterproof they are all right so what i did here was i put a handful of drop shot weights a good amount of them in here uh, just to try to sink it down and then you know just a little bit of dry paper towel close up the lid and we're just going to drop her on in so you can see that it floats even with all those weights in there, which is really good, man. If you lose it in a river or lake or ocean or anything like that, you know it's going to float back up and you're not going to lose your stuff, which is great. I mean, the worst thing that's going to happen is you're going to get rained on, but just to be crazy about it, I'll dunk it under the water like this. And, you know, you see some bubbles coming up. But that's coming from the fishing line for sure. And I'm just, you know, holding it in there. I mean, this is as violent as it's going to get, man. There's no way that you're gonna get exposed to this amount of water out there. So, yep, just kind of overdoing it just to see how waterproof this thing really is. Let me dry it up real fast so I don't drip water all over this desk and piss off the misses. <laughs> Crack her open. And this thing's bone dry, man. There's a little water coming off my hands, uh, but yeah bone dry nothing got in there so you can feel confident you know that you have your matches in there your lighter anything else that can't get wet you know you can feel good about it so there you go that's my prescription bottle survival kit you can see definitely waterproof which is awesome and you just build one for yourself man you know depending on where you think you're gonna go or what you think you're gonna need you just have fun with it be creative and you know you'll be surprised how many times you end up dipping into this thing like oh man i just wish i had a q-tip there you go so, you know, I think I fit over 40 items in this thing. So it's pretty impressive how much you can fit in and, you know, take advantage of the outside too by wrapping the fishing line around it or, you know, the inside of the lid where I put the hooks and you just get real creative. Like I said, duct tape, anything you want, use that outside. But uh, great to have, man. And uh, I hope you got something out of this and have fun building your own. It may help you out when you're out there one of these days. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're into this sort of thing, don't forget to hit subscribe. We put a new video out every week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Later. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching.